In order to be useful, the parts of any electric device must be properly connected. We call this connection a circuit. If you haven't ever done so before, connecting an electric circuit to make something work the way you want to is very fun and rewarding. Hi, my name is Karen. Welcome to Great Lakes Science Center. Today, we will be looking at the breadboard circuit exhibit. With breadboard circuits, you can create hundreds of different combinations of functional electric circuits. Each breadboard features a power supply, electrical components like motors and lights, wire for making connections, and springs that hold the wire connections tightly. By starting out with a very simple circuit, we can understand the basic functions of the components. In this simple circuit, a light will turn on when the wires are properly connected from the power source to the light and then back to the power source. Note that electricity must flow through all of the components, the power source, the wires, and the light bulb. For an added challenge, try to include a button or a switch in your design. Why might a button or a switch make the circuit more useful? Try using a hand crank generator as your power source. You might notice that the amount of electricity varies according to how fast you crank. Try to create a circuit using light switches just like we have in our homes. Generators create electricity that rapidly flow back and forth. The pedal generator is connected to a circuit that will light up with more bulbs the harder you pedal, like a giant hand crate generator. I hope you enjoyed learning about breadboard circuits. Come and visit us. Enjoy this and many other electrifying experiences at Great Lakes Science Center.